Hello everyone, hello everyone, it is Narvin here, and I'm gonna be playing a made a game with zombies in it. Uh, let's just go for this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm lugging quickly. Oh, run away. Sorry, I was adjusting volumes. Um, real quick, this is on the indie Xbox Live arcade. Um, it is a dollar. It's awesome. Uh, another real quick thing I want to put out is there's tons of these types of games and I wanted to see if you guys would be into just like a simple review of them. That way you guys don't have to spend your money to see if they're any good and I'll spend my money to see if they're any good. I mean they only cost a dollar so in reality it's really not that big of a deal. Get away from me! But this game is pretty awesome. I wanted to record some gameplay of something a little different because I haven't filmed anything like this. And I really like this game. It really is fun. It's entertaining. Uh, I guess I'll just go over how it works. Um, pretty much endless zombies slash creatures. I don't know how many actual zombies there are or creatures. Uh, this is probably like 10. Team. Get away from me! Gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, I'm paying attention to commentary and not walking, shooting zombies! Get out of my way! Right, zombies. Fuck off. Oh, yes. Um. Anyways, another news, I will be starting to nuke them. Uh, probably Tuesday, since that's when it comes out. Just right around 100 points at a time. Uh, so I hope you guys are ready for that. I do want to talk about it a little bit, just to kind of say... basically to give my thoughts on what I think, what I'm expecting out of the game. Um, so I think a lot of people are expecting it to be something else than it is. Duke Nukem to me is a purely fun entertainment type of game. It is not based on hardcore gameplay at all. It's not about quickest, most fluid reaction time when you're shooting, and it's not about the tactics, it's not about all that bullshit. To me, it's purely about entertainment. It's purely about what is funny, what is going to entertain you, what's going to be fun to shoot. The um, only reason I'm going over this is because I've seen a lot of people say, like, Oh, I don't know why people are so amped up about Duke Nukem. The game looks so mediocre. The game looks stupid. The Duke Nukem franchise, or the whole idea of Duke Nukem, to me at least, this might not be true to everybody, but to me, the whole Duke Nukem idea of the game is just all fun. It's not meant to be a serious first-person shooter say the least. It's not meant to be like Call of Duty. Is, for lack of a better description of a game, it's not meant to be Call of Duty or Battlefield for that instance. Um, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be entertaining. I just keep feel like I'm rambling on just repeating myself over and over again. Oh. Those slime guys are like my nemesis. They always end up killing me. One little slime guy slips out. Time for some asteroids now. Drop the flamethrower. Flamethrower. So, I will be doing a single player playthrough of Duke Nukem. Um, I'll probably do some online multiplayer too. But I do want you guys to be wary that I suck at online multiplayer. Uh, I may be good at zombies, but that has nothing to do with online multiplayers. Um, if you saw me play a multiplayer, you would, oh, that was close. You would be like, why is this guy even bother playing? He sucks terribly, and it's true. I do. I, I'm a terrible multiplayer player. I don't have the tactics. I don't have. I don't know why I can't play multiplayer, but for some reason I'm just like retarded when it comes to multiplayer. Oh god, there's little asteroids everywhere. Um, maybe it's just because I suck. 
put it in simple terms. Um, but it is what it is. So like I said, I'm going to be covering Duke Nukem single player. I'll cover the multiplayer briefly, but I don't expect any tactics or anything. Well, even though I don't think it's going to be that serious. I don't even know what the multiplayer is supposed to be like. Um, yeah, but basically I figure Duke Nukem is what I'm going to be playing. And zombies, and of course, and other randomness. But more or less, I'll be playing Duke Nukem as my solo let's play until I complete it. Uh, and if I have enough time, I'll probably do another game or something. But the next game I plan to do is Battlefield 3, which looks phenomenal. I mean, obviously, if you haven't seen it, you've been living under a rock because. The extra life. Because that game looks absolutely phenomenal to me. I, mean, I just can't get over how amazing that game looks. Give me the shields. Give me the flamethrower. Give me more shields. Um, I will be getting Modern Warfare 3 and I will cover it partially, but I don't expect too much out of Modern Warfare 3 from me. Um, Honestly, I think Modern Warfare is, or I think Call of Duty is completely be overrated franchise at this point. Originally, Call of Duty 4, or Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, was amazing, yes. Just because one game in a franchise is amazing, though, doesn't mean they all are amazing. Um, to me, that it just doesn't make any sense to think that. Get out of the way, I need to get the green things! Uh... I don't know. I hope... Modern Warfare 3 will be amazing, trust me. But, if, if you don't know, it's being made by Infinity Ward, but... Infinity Ward isn't Infinity Ward, and Infinity Ward made, uh... Modern Warfare 2 and... or 1 and 2. But it's not the same... Get away from me! Uh, Infinity War that you're probably thinking of, really, it's a completely different Infinity War. Infinity War mostly left after Modern Warfare 2 to go work for Respawn Entertainment. Okay, that was close. Um, who is an EA developer, and they're supposed to be working on a Call of Duty killer game. Or maybe at this point it might be a Battlefield killer game. Um, which, uh, they're gonna have their work cut out for them. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, Infinity Ward isn't what it used to be, basically. It's also not only being worked on by Infinity Ward. I think it's being built by, uh... Uh, I really shouldn't know this. Shit. Sledgehammer Games and Raven something, maybe? I don't know. I'm going on the top of my head, you guys. I don't... I really am not... 100% positive about that. I've been following Battlefield more. Uh, I did see one funny news article recently about E3. Um, the one of the lead developers for Modern Warfare 3 tried to go play Battlefield 3's demo at the E3, and the E3 uh, or the people for Battlefield 3 wouldn't let him play it. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh. I don't know why, but to me, that came off as pretty, pretty awesome. Oh shit, get away from me! I want to get that. The health. Oh god. Too many creatures. Oh, I died. Shoot. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Oh god, that was close. Get the shields! This is like, in my opinion, the hardest part of it because these little fucking things are hard as shit to kill and start flashing lights everywhere. Eh. Yeah, I was expecting that. I saw that coming. Just run through them all. You got shields right when you were first spawned, so I can kind of just run through them all like crazy. Get away from me! 
Uh, just so you guys know, the trick to this game is to watch where you are at. Don't worry about where you're shooting. Just watch where you're controlling. As you can see, I'm failing now. And it sucks, because usually I'm not that horrible at this. It's probably because I'm tr trying to commentate at the same time. Uh, get away. God damn it! I just fail central, so I need to get some weapons. There we go. Back and fuck off. Um, just. I probably should have put a warning in. I might still put one. If you have seizures from flashy lights, you should be watching this. Uh, I feel like I left off on a topic and didn't finish my statement, but there's not much I can do about that. Flamethrower kills all! I have my shields on, so that's why I kind of just walk over everything right there. I love the music in this game, too. It's pretty phenomenal. I think that's one of the main backings of a good game to me, the music in it. If this doesn't have good music, what's the point of playing the game? Get away from me! Ah, uh, let's see, is there anything else briefly that I should be going over? Get away from me! Oh, get away! Oh, I thought I died. I didn't. Turns out I didn't. Keep walking forward, don't worry about what's behind you. I'll take good for this. I need a weapon! Definitely need some sort of weapon. Or shield. I have a shield watcher. Ah! That, was cool. that was pretty rad. Extremely dangerous, but pretty rad. Spin in circles. It's about as far as I've ever made it, so every time I die, once I get back to the main perk part again, it just gets too hectic for me. Get away from me. Uh, I really feel like I'm trying to think of topics that I wanted to talk about. You can't defeat me. My record's 700,000, I believe. Let's see if I can beat it. Close. 700,000 of them, I mean, we'll see at the end. Get away from me! I don't want any. Oh, I don't want a fucking laser. I died. Lame. Lamest ending ever. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. I almost made it to 800,000. Um, I don't know what I could even write here. I'll write. This will be. Okay, man. Oh, ASA. That's not what I wanted to write at all. Well, I broke my record. Hooray! Um, thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed, and see ya!